There's no way I can call for the death of my own children. And the, the, the saddest part of it is that we want to use social media in a manner that's beneficial to society. But it has been used right now to advance ulterior motives by other people. I never call for that. And I'll tell you exactly what I said. And this had nothing to do with Kenya. What I told them in there is that the speech, the bulk of the speech, a very long speech, they just, people edited and did a lot of bits and pieces here and put together something uh, uh, just to, you know, take a shot at me. I told them, at the time when the state was collapsing itself, and the former head of state, Mohammed Siad Bari, was pleading with, some, with, with, the, with, the, with the masses of his own country, give me a small moment so that I can create a transitional authority. I can transfer power to somebody so that you can then have a temporary period in which you people can decide what you want to do with this country. And they refused. And they came in the form of many liberation movements. And I mentioned the names of the liberation movements at that time. And I said, I'm not a Somali national. I am not the head of state. I am a Kenyan. I don't, th I don't think I'll ever become a head of state in here. But if I were him that time, in hindsight, I would have used the possible limited force within that place to maintain the cohesion, the unity, and the stability of the country. Instead of leaving the thing and creating a vacuum. And I mentioned that because of that vacuum, at that time, most likely with all those liberation movements, if he had used and employed the assets that he had, maximum of probably 5,000 people would have died in that process. But now Somalis have lost over 2 million deaths 33 years back, and they're never going to come together. Once you become a failed state, you better have a despotic, rigid regime than have a failed state. The cost is massive, incalculable, and will can last for the longest. What I said about us here is, we do have um, um, something going on in the country here. It's going to come to an end. But my prayer is, let us have a situation in which this country does not go the way Somalia went.